Uh, Irv Kagi back again at the Grinding Pavilion at IMTS 2010. And uh, we've been taking time to go and visit with some of our best customers who are exhibiting here at the show. Uh, now we're going to take kind of a different path and deal with one of the, uh, the top OEMs uh, in our field. And I'd like to introduce you to uh, Eric Schwarzenbach from Rollomatic. Uh, Eric, good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> Um, Eric, maybe you can tell us a little bit about um, Rollomatic as a company. Where, where are you located? Our factory is in Switzerland, and we have our facility for the uh, North American market in uh, Mandelein, which is very close to where you are. I should know that, I guess. Um, is there, uh, you have an excellent reputation in the field, there's no question about Thank you. that. Um, is there a particular aspect of the market that you focus on, or. Uh, just not, you do everything. Not really. We can we can do everything. We can grind large tools and small tools. We we used to be known for the for the kings in grinding micro tools, but uh, that's no longer the, that's still the case. But we can also do um, larger tools equally well as we do micro tools. Okay. So there, there's somewhat of a mis, uh, misconception by many people out there that you're only small when you can do both large and small. That's correct. Yes. yes. Okay. Can you tell me, when you look back at your involvement with, uh, with the customers, with the end users and so on, over the last 10 years, um, has there been a change in terms of the amount of time or discussion about filtration now as compared to 10 years ago? Absolutely. The, uh, the tolerance tightness has become uh, much higher in, uh, in cutting tools. Therefore, the, uh, the coolant needs to have a much higher... Cleanliness level. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yes, yes. And also the temperature control. Is, uh, is far more important than it ever used to be. Okay. And when you talk to customers, I mean, obviously, when you're talking about, you know, one micron filtration and temperature control and the like, uh, that's obviously a greater investment than if you're just talking a cartridge or a centrifuge or something like that. When you speak to a customer, okay, and he says, yes, that's interesting, but uh, it's more money, how, how do you address that? You have to look at the uh, at the benefit of having a, a, a one micron filtration in terms of uh, uh, quality of the tool, in terms of uh, uh, cycle time in grinding, and also the uh, longevity of the machine and the spindles and the drives and the uh, guide rails. So it's more than just cycle time. It's more than just maintenance. It's it's a lot of other things. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other benefits that come with it. One is carbide reclamation. Uh, with a transor, you can reclaim carbide pure and sell it at full price back to the uh, carbide uh, producers. Mm -hmm. With uh, other systems like uh, paper filters or cartridge, you only get a very small proportion of value of, of what you actually could sell it if it's pure. I, well, we know that Rollomatic is always coming up with uh, new products and new innovations. Is there anything you've come up with recently that you'd like to share with our audience that couldn't be with us here at IMTS? We recently introduced an ultra-small tool grinder, uh, which can grind micro-tools in the nano range. And uh, in order to achieve uh, the accuracy and consistency in, in that kind of range, we needed a coolant filtration system that had a chiller on it uh, that can chill the coolant to a very, very close tolerance. And we are talking about 0.1 degrees Fahrenheit or even, even tighter. That's pretty tight. Uh, it is, it is. Uh, we can... We have a, a uh, setup in our showroom that we can prove that kind of uh, uh, temperature tolerance that we can hold with the transfer mm -hmm. system. So, I mean, it's not only a question of uh, the cleanliness of the oil, but also the temperature of the oil, the consistency overall of the product you're using for the grind that's really important for that's a tool like that. That's correct, yes. Some of our machines have hydrostatic systems that we use the coolant oil as hydrostatic oil. And... Uh, it is very important that the temperature is uh, constant. You mentioned something about the showroom in, uh, in Mandelein. We have a centralized system in our Mandelein showroom, mm -hmm. uh, Transor, of course, with a high accuracy chiller. Mm -hmm. And our parent company in Switzerland also uh, ins installed a much larger Transor centralized system. But I thought everything was bigger in America. <laughs> Yeah, but it's the other way around this time. Around. Okay, <laughs> all right. And the show has been good for you so far? Yes, very good show. Uh, very active and uh, the mood is very uh, positive among our visitors here. Good. Well, uh, continued success and thanks for taking time with us. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.